The new 2019 tax plan will continue with the progressive tax. This helps keep the income gap from growing wider between the richer and the poor. A progressive tax will allow us to collect money from those who can afford to pay and use it to help create a society that is more happy as a result. A progressive system will also allow the government to collect more money from higher income earners. As a result, the government can provide more programs and services that benefit society. The government has added another tax bracket above the previous mark. The newly added bracket will raise the marginal rate by 4% for each filing status. Previously, it was 500000 and over at a marginal rate of 37%. Now, it is 700000 plus at a marginal rate of 41%. Corporate Income Tax The U.S. federal corporate income tax rate has been changed from 21% to 29%. Corporations operating in the United States face another layer of corporate income tax levied by states. As such, the statutory corporate income tax rate in the United States, including an average of the state corporate income taxes, is 35.7%. This rate puts the United States in line with the average among Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, member nations. The, weight, the weighted average by population combined corporate income tax rate in the United States under current law is 35.7%. For 2019 tax plan, your employer will withhold 6.2% of your eligible earnings in Social Security tax under FICA. Your employer will, will also pay the same amount out of its own pocket, being the total tax paid of your behalf of 12.4% of your wagers. Those who have the self-employment included typical have to pay the entire 12.4% of their own, as they both employee and employer for social security purposes. If you pay a single unaffined amount under FICA, for both Social Security and Medicare, then you will probably notice that it adds up to 7.65%. That includes both the 6.2% that goes to Social Security and the 1.45% tax that helps to fund the Medicare program. In the 2019 tax plan, you may give up to $15,000 in gifts before paying any gift tax. The 15,000 annual gift exclusion is a limit on non-taxable gifts for, per person, and you can give multiple people up to 15,000 each without obtaining any tax liability. However, the amounts of your annual gift exclusions are limited to a lifetime total of 5.5 million. If you give someone a gift or gifts of money or property, and the value is over the annual gift exclusion amount, you will generally owe gift taxes. The exceptions to gift taxes are Gifts to your spouse, you do not have to pay taxes on any amount given to your spouse as a gift unless they are not a U.S. citizen. Education and medical expenses, you do not owe taxes on any amount paid for someone else's tuition or medical bills. Charitable donations, political contributions, political donations are considered gifts, not deductible charitable contributions, and you may exclude any amount given to political organizations and business gifts to employees. For excess tax, the tax is calculated per thousand cigars or cigarettes, or per pound of tobacco, depending on the product. The tax equals about $1 per pack of 20 cigarettes. Cigarette papers and tubes are also subject to tax. Tobacco taxes are collected when products leave bonded premises for domestic distribution. Exported products are exempt. Distilled spirits generally are taxed at $13 per proof gallon. Tax rates on wines vary based on type and alcohol content, ranging from $1.50 per gallon for wines with 14% alcohol or less to $3.40 per gallon for sparkling wines. Beer will be taxed at $19 per gallon, removing the reduced rate of $7 per barrel applied to the first 60,000 barrels for brewery, breweries that produce less than 2 million barrels. Under current law, the tax rate is 18.3 cents per gallon on gasoline and 24.3 cents per gallon on diesel fuel. A 1.1 cent per gallon tax is also levied upon of these fuel tax rates to help fund expenses associated with fuel regulation. 
Domestic air travel is subject to 7.5% tax based on the ticket plus $4.10 for each flight segment, one takeoff and one landing. A 6.25% tax is charged on domestic cargo transportation. International arrivals and departures are taxed at $18.30 per person. There is no tax on international cargo. In 2019, the federal government budgets that revenue will be around $3.4 trillion. With our tax plan, adjustments to the total revenue increases. The additional bracket added to each personal income tax filling category will increase the revenue from its current standing at $1.622 trillion. Social Security, Medicare, and corporate taxes will not change, allowing their revenues to bring in around $1.463 trillion. Excise taxes on tobacco and alcohol products will go up to prevent the use of these products. Beer will be taxed at $19 per barrel or 31 gallons, removing the reduced rate of $7 per barrel applied to the first 60,000 barrels for breweries that produce less than 2 million barrels. This should raise the amount of excise taxing, taxes given to the U.S. from 4% of the total revenue. Overall, the revenue should increase. With the extra money brought in, the, brought in for the government, the government could spend more on education, energy, and the environment. The only consequence would be people buying beer, which is also a positive for the wellness of people.